Hello everybody, if you do not know who I am, my name is Paradoxical Intention, but y'all can call me Paradoxy. And welcome to My Cup of Coffee, The Trouble with Earl Grey. Now, I know next to nothing about this game. I saw a few screenshots of it on the download page. Uh, I try not to read too much into it because I want to go into this blind, but I found it on Tumblr. Uh, from a blog I follow for gaming stuff and they talk about a lot of indie games and this came up and apparently this is really really good so I wanted to try it for myself I'll put a link in the description below if you guys like what you see please go and support the developer by going and uh, downloading this game it's free but you can donate to the developer when you download it so I would recommend that if you can you do because you know the supporting developers is important so let's start a new game. Oh, let me check the options first. Uh, after choices, uh, all transitions. Yeah, okay. So let's go back and start a new game. As I entered my humble workplace, I could smell the familiar whiff of coffee beans. The Cafe Latte, founded in 1836 by my late grandmother Cecilia and now entrusted to me. Luckily, I inherited her gift for coffee, or my name is not Latte. And my first name? Well, that had been passed down the generations, too. What is my name? My name is Paradoxical. Jiao can Paradoxy. Paradoxical Latte. That's an awesome name. I just opened the doors as... Paradoxical! Oh, wrong voice. My first customer showed up in distress. I really need a coffee. Now! I smiled at the slightly disheveled looking lady and started grinding beans for her espresso. What's the story today? Oh, you don't want to know. I glanced at her and noticed something unusual. I beg your pardon, Lady Grey, but where's your locket? My locket? Her hand moved to her neck as she blushed with a frown. Oh, well, I'm not sure. My husband... Oh, it's a terribly boring and long story, never mind. She seemed flustered. I decided not to probe any further. My apologies for, like, changing her voice up, down, and sideways. I just, I'm not sure what kind of voice to give this poor lady. The machine had finished pushing hot water through the coffee, so I took the cup away and poured some hot, foamy milk into it. Poor Lady Grey. Perhaps some coffee art will cheer her up. What symbol should I draw? Um, draw a flower. She seemed to be bothered with her husband, so I don't think a heart would be appropriate. Uh, I drew a beautiful flower. Lady Grey took the cappuccino and smiled meekly. Thank you. And with that, she sat down and buried her nose in her novel. Uh, examine the novel. I took a cloth and started polishing tables near Lady Grey in hope of catching a glimpse. Humility and fairness. A classic. Very romantic. I polished the next table. Just as finished, a new customer came in. Hello! And so the morning rolled into midday. Lady Grey had left after she finished her coffee. I thought little of it until late afternoon when her husband, Earl Grey, dragged himself through my door. The Earl looked utterly defeated. Granted, he often looked a bit downtrodden, but today he looked more sorry than that poor dishcloth my mother refuses to throw away. Good heavens! Are you alright? He briefly raised a hand in greeting before letting it drop. It swung pitifully back and forth. Uh, paradoxical latte. I am quite fine, thank you. Are you quite sure? The Earl made his way to the counter. Oh, it's been a long day. He looked longingly at the beans in my coffee grinder. The usual? Yes, please. As I made the Earl an Americano, I tried to make conversation. I saw your wife here this morning. She's reading a new book? Earl Grey cast me a somber look. Oh, yes. That's all she does these days. Read romance novels. You don't seem too keen. They're... Uh, not to my taste, I suppose. They fill a woman's head with idealistic fantasies of what a man should be like. Set unrealistic expectations. Oh, what? Like, porn sets unrealistic expectations of women to men? Like, sincerely? I'm gonna disagree. I don't know. I think most women can tell that real life is different from a novel. Just not my wife, apparently. Oh? These days it feels like she's discontented. Keeping the flame alive seems to require superhuman effort, apparently. 
He sighed deeply and shrugged. Anyhow, thanks for the coffee. He sat down to read the newspaper. I felt a storm brewing, like a cafeteria of coffee forgotten. At closing time, I kept thinking about the Greys. Something had happened between them, but what? Night passes. When I approached the shop the next day, a familiar face was waiting by the door. It was Maria Darjeeling, a maid who worked for the Greys. Good morning, Latte. She rested her hand on her hip playfully. Morning. You're early today. My hand rummaged in my pocket, looking for the key to the front door. Oh, yes. I have come to collect a takeaway order for the Earl's son. The key turned in the lock and the door swung open. I'll have it ready in a moment. Hmm, I wonder if Maria knows what's going on. I turned the espresso machine on. It always took a while for it to heat up, so I ground some beans in the meantime. Have the greys seemed any different to you lately? Hmm, I guess they're going through a bit of a rough patch. Suddenly her face lit up. Oh, you know, you'd be perfect. Perfect for what? She pouted at me. Why, mediation, of course. I'm not sure I follow. Lord Grey asked me to find someone who could help. I can't think of anyone better than you. Well, I feel like I should help them. I'm not qualified as a marriage counselor, but sure, I'll help. If I can help in any way, I'd be happy to. Wonderful. I shall arrange for the Greys to pay a visit this afternoon. I look forward to it. Things usually quiet down after two. The maid picked up the takeaway coffee, winked at me, and left. Oh dear. A while later. Just after the lunch rush, Darjeeling ushered in the Greys, both of whom seemed somewhat reluctant. I tried to reassure them with a smile, but it had very little effect. If I want to get to the bottom of this, I'm going to have to help them feel more relaxed. Chamomile tea! How about a cup of tea? Yes, please. Yes, please. The couple looked slightly shocked as they said the exact same words in unison. <laughs> Lady Grey adjusted the bow around her neck with a sniff and walked to the other end of the room. Earl Grey, meanwhile, made himself comfortable in the armchair near the door. Both of them picked up something to read in almost complete synch syn synchrony? Synchrony? Is that how you say that? The Earl, his newspaper, the Lady, her novel. I was so interested in the pair that I barely noticed Mr. Jeeling joining me at the counter. I can help serve other customers to buy you some time if you'd like. Please. That would be a great help. Thank you. With everyone in position, I was ready to get to the bottom of the matter. First, I needed to find out what was going on. Only then would I be able to find an answer to, well, whatever it was. I glanced at the clock. It was ten past two. I had to figure out what was going on before I closed at 5.30. Who should I speak to? Let's talk to Darjeeling. She seems to have her ear to the ground. Miss Darjeeling seemed pretty relaxed. Uh, love. So have you s accepted any courtship? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? She blew me a kiss. Hey. Uh, small talk. So what's been happening at the Grey household? Cook burned chicken the other day. It was meant to be a feast. We were so gutted. I raised an eyebrow. Gutted for dinner? She turned red. Not literally, of course. The Greys aren't cannibals. We both burst into laughter. Uh, what about you? Tell me a bit about yourself. She winked at me. I bet you'd like to know all kinds of things. Er, well, yeah. Hey, Mama, let me get them digits. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bite. She gave me a dazzling smile. Uh, she made seem to feel a bit more relaxed. Knowledge gained. Uh, well, we talked to everything, so let's go back. Let's talk to Lady Grey first. Lady Grey had a sour look on her face as she scanned a page of her romance novel. I think she's pretending to read it. My eyes were drawn to her hand, but rested on her chest. I noticed her locket was still missing. Uh, love? I had to proceed gently. With Grey seemed a touchy. With the Greys, this seemed a touchy topic. So, have you been married a long time? Lady Grey grinned bleefully at her husband. <laughs> I should change the topic for now. Uh, small talk. 
You're wearing a lovely hat today. Oh, why, thank you. So nice to receive a compliment from someone. It's not easy, you know, to select a hat that suits. I'm afraid... Uh, I'm afraid I'm not very knowledgeable in that department. Oh, well, if you need any help shopping, I'd be more than happy to assist. I shall keep that in mind. Seems really nice. Let's talk about the maid. So what do you think of Ms. Darjeeling? Lady Grey looked uncomfortable. Why do you ask? Oh, just out of curiosity. She sighed deeply. Well, she sighed again. I suppose she's very young and coquettish. Still, I've noticed. If I'm honest, I'm not sure she's the right fit for our household. But seeing as how I, no I have no power to choose our staff, we're stuck with her for better or for worse. Ah, so maybe she's thinking that uh, Sir Darjeeling is, or Sir Grey is cheating? Oh dear. Uh, let's talk to you about yourself. I've always thought you're an intriguing woman, if I may say so. Your face lit up. Oh, really? Could you tell me a bit more about yourself? Goodness, I don't know where to start. Have you always lived in Teesside? Oh, heavens no. I grew up in Ceylon, uh, say London, actually. So what brought you here? Well, when I came out of finishing school, I met a handsome young man. At my coming of age ball, we danced two times, and he even asked for a third dance, which I obviously rejected. Why? Oh, you're such a simple soul, paradoxical bless you. In high society, is this considered a complete scandal if an unmarried woman dances with a man more than twice? Naturally, that had to be remedied, so we got married. So the young man? Oh yes, the Earl of Lemonshire. He became my husband. Hence you coming to Teesside. Indeed. I felt I made a connection with Lady Grey. Uh, let's talk about love. Uh, Grant glanced briefly at her husband. Oh, she doesn't want to talk about it. Let's talk about the locket, then. I noticed your locket is still missing? Yes, well, it's not exactly missing. My husband took it, and he never gave it back. Do you know why? No. She frowned and glanced over at the maid. But I have my suspicions. Oh, she does think he's cheating on her with the maid! Oh, let's talk about love, maybe? Well, married a long time, she glanced briefly at her husband. I uh, guess not. Well, we can't talk to her about anything else, so let's talk to Earl Grey. Lord Grey shifted uncomfortably as I looked in his direction. His fingers were tapping rapidly on his knee. Small talk? So, nice weather today, don't you think? Yes, I suppose it is. It makes a change from all the rain we've been having lately. I like all weather. Each type has its own charm. Milky white winters, caramel autumns, herbal tea summers. The Earl cracked a smile. Uh, talk about yourself. So tell me a little about yourself. What would you like to know? I don't know. Anything. Hobbies? I do rather like to read. The news, mostly. Anything else? Scientific journals. What about sport? I like to watch football. From a distance. We support Assam United. Who's we? Oh, Jesse, we, I meant I. Ah. Hmm. So he and his wife like a particular sports team. Now we're gone by so quickly. Oh no. Oh no. Um, um, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk about the maid. Tell me about your maid, Miss Darjeel. Lovely girl. Works hard. What about her personality? She's very, uh, exuberant. Do you like her? Yes, very much so. The girl blushes a little. You know, it's funny. My wife has been asking similar questions lately. I wonder if she's up to something. Uh, let's talk about the l love. Love. A difficult, talk about, a difficult topic to talk about out of the blue, especially with the Earl. I hope that I made him sufficiently at ease to speak about it. So, how long have you been married? The Earl ignored my question. This newspaper's full of news, don't you know? I think I'm gonna have to chat about something easier first. Um... The locket? I was wondering, have you noticed your wife's locket is missing? Daryl looked momentarily shocked, but regained his composure quickly. No, not r really. His expression was completely blank, almost excessively so. Ah, uh, talk about your wife. 
Tell me about your lovely wife. Uh, well, she's my wife. And, uh, her, uh, what would you like to know? What do you like about her? Uh, uh, her. Dare blushed slightly as he struggled to find the words. What sort of a, what sort of a question is that anyway? She's my wife. What else is there to say? Love? I uh, can't talk about that now. Um, let's talk to Darjeeling again. Miss Darjeeling winked at me playfully. Uh, Earl Grey. So you work for the Greys, right? What's the Earl like? He's a very kind gentleman. I feel a little sorry for him. He always looks so lonely. Isn't that just good old northern stoicism? I think that's what it looks like on the surface. But when you get closer, you can see the loneliness inside. Uh, Lady Grey. What can you tell me about Lady Grey? Not much, if I'm honest. She's a well-respected woman, well-liked in the community, as you know. At Bergamot Manor, all the staff speak highly of her. I don't think she likes me very much, though. Oh, why not? I don't know. The locket. Did you notice Lady Grey's locket is missing? Maria's eyes widened. It is? Well... I guess I did notice, but I have no idea where it went. She blushed and turned away from me. Hmm. Mm. Have you been following the news? The Queen is instituting a new holiday, Kirby Day. I, want I wonder why. It's a long story. Let's... Let's talk to Lady Grey again. Maybe we'll find something else. Lady Grey is reading her novel with interest. She seemed well in herself. Um, love? So have you been married a long time? Glance briefly at her husband. <laughs> nope. Uh, the maid? Couldn't think of anything new to ask. Her locket. How do you know your husband took it? It's... Oh, never mind. She should come back to us when she's more at ease. Um, small talk. How's the book? Lady Grey looked up from her novel. Shh, I just got to the good bit. Interesting. Of? Uh, oh, but 36 years is nothing really in the grand scheme of things. I'll be with the man till death do us part. Though some days I wonder if death might not be a charming stranger. She blushed a little. Goodness me, I don't mean that in a morbid way, of course. I nodded for her to continue. I've been reading these novels by Anne Justin, you see. Ha <laughs> ha, Jane Austen, ha ha. And the love interests are always so attentive. They make the heroine feel like the only woman in the world. Sometimes I wish it was me. Uh, I can't think of anything to ask. Block it. I saw it with my own eyes. You saw him take it? Well, not exactly. I saw him give it to the maid. <gasps> Miss Darjeeling? The very same. Uh, we need to go talk to somebody. Sir. Uh, slowly drumming his fingers upon the armchair. Let's talk. make some small talk. Have you heard about Assam United? It was madness. What was the keeper doing there? I was very surprised. Me too. Uh, let's talk about the locket. About the locket. Lord Grey ignored my attempts. The weather's nice today, isn't it? Dang it. Uh, the maid. Didn't think of anything new to ask. Uh, your wife. Uh, love. How long have you been married? Yeah. Got small talks more. What's the latest news? Earl Grey looked up from his newspaper. The humility and fairness is the latest bestseller, apparently. Interesting. Small talk? Uh, the, board does the board doesn't know what it's doing. I was very surprised. Me too. An hour left. Oh, come on, talk to me. About your wife's locket. Y yes? I heard you gave it to the maid. The Earl looked around uncomfortably. All right, I did. I gave it to Miss Darjeeling. Oh, let's talk to the maid about it then. Are you sure you don't know where the locket went? I... She looked uncomfortable. I have an eyewitness who said it was given to you. Oh, very well. The Earl gave it to me. She looked relieved after that confession. Why did you hide it from me? I was told not to tell a soul about it. I see. So now what? Uh, 
I only have like 15 minutes left. Uh, love? Oh, a long time. Nearly 37 years, in fact. Do you ever regret it? The Earl was silent for a moment, contemplating the question. No, I don't believe I do. Okay, um... Uh, love? Can't think of anything new to ask. Earl Grey? Can't think of anything new to ask. Lady Grey? Um, so, talk to Lady Grey. Well, and herself, talk about the locket. What if your husband took the locket for a good reason? I cannot think of any reason why he would take it behind my back. Hm, good point. Um, husband. Tell me a bit about the Earl. Delightfully handsome, stubborn, never listens. He'll catch all right if you keep him. What do you mean? Oh, nothing, never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk to the Earl real quick and talk, ask him about his life. Lady Grey, you couldn't think of anything new to ask. Oh, well, I think that's our only option, so let's finish. Yes. I listened to what the Greys and Miss Darjeeling had to say, and now I had to make a decision. If I helped the Greys understand their differences, would they be happy together or would they better off apart? Uh, they should stay together. They seem to love each other very much. It's just they have relationship problems. I decided to help the Greys. I know this wasn't the easiest option, but I felt it was the right one. The locket played a vital part. Why is the locket important? It proves they the Earl loves his wife. Alright, let's sit together at one table. Would anyone like a cup of tea before we start? Yes, please. The Greys answered in unison, then shifted uncomfortably in their chairs. I'm fine, thank you. I serve the Greys their tea. Right, where to begin? Let's start with the missing item. I cast a glance in Lady Grey's direction, wondering if she'd speak up about the locket, but her lips remained tightly sealed. Then I looked at Earl Grey. He too refused to speak. Lord Grey, you took your wife's locket and gave it to the maid. Explain yourself. I... how? Oh. Let's see what kind of half-baked excuse you've got. Well, it, it was for polishing. Oh, very convincing. Lady Grey rolled her eyes. It's the truth. And anyway, you didn't even know it was gone. Of course I did. You didn't. This is not going well. This proves the Earl loves you, Lady Grey. How so? He wanted to make sure your precious keepsake was polished in time for your anniversary. Uh, I suppose. A year later. As months passed, I saw the Greys less, and never both at the same time. They grew even more withdrawn and immersed in their reading. When I tried to speak to them, the relationship was not up for discussion, though Lady Grey did once confess to fantasizing about Captain Chino. I think the pair tolerated each other, just barely, which in my book is not a great way to lead life. I wondered if maybe I could have made a difference somehow. No! I failed! No! I tried so hard. Well, that was the end. That was a really con like compelling kind of story. And I like that trying to convince them to stay together didn't work. Yes, because sometimes it usually always works. I think it's really great that there, there was this one instance where it didn't work and there was nothing I could do. It, it, wow. Wow. Uh, so Nina, aka Steam Girl, did a fabulous job with that art, by the way. I, did, I know I didn't talk about her to mention it, but the characters were really well drawn and I really enjoyed the way they looked. Oh, man. I feel so bad. I fucked these people over. I'm so sorry, Grace. I tried so hard for you. Oh. If you enjoyed this game and you'd like to see more, please consider chipping in by pledging towards the next game at patreon.com slash steamgirl. If you guys see that, uh, please, please, please go and donate. I want to see more of this. This looks awesome. But yeah, that was my cup of coffee, The Trouble with Earl Grey. Um, I might go back and play this again just to see if I can get different endings or something because I feel like I feel like there was something I could have done. Maybe if I convinced Lady Grey to divorce Earl Grey, uh, or maybe there was like another answer to prove why the locket was important. Uh, but man, oh man, that kind of that kind of sucks the way that ended. That's that makes me feel bad.
but um i think that's good enough for here so if you guys like this game please go and download it play for yourself donate to the uh the people behind the game they worked really hard on it it looks amazing and it was a pretty fun game and i really enjoyed it uh for about 20 minutes you know it's a very short game but it's really good so please go play it so i will see you guys in the next video and if you got a different ending please let me know in the comments below so i will see you guys later so in the meantime have fun good game and bye me <laughs>